This is a teardown of a Motorola Minotaur IV, presumably Minotaur 4. And we'll take a looky here and see what's inside. Hopefully, I'm going to have the right bits to crack it open. Assuming it cracks open the way I think it does. Not 100% certain though. There's only one exposed screw in the bottom here. Long one. <laughs> Not sure what that screw does. Saw some listings indicating that there's a uh, back cover. There's a bit of a seam there, but I don't know if it's actually a seam or not. The only reasonable thing to do is bounce off the floor. Oops. Oh, it's gone forever. Got away. Oh, uh, thought I broke the battery cover, but uh, no, nope, just popped off. <laughs> Let's see here. Well, maybe it's under this uh, front sticker. Have a razor blade. There we go. Remember, for the absolute safety, cut towards yourself. <laughs> Hmm. I am not qualified to hold a knife, apparently. There we go. Nope, nothing under here. Oh. Hmm. Well, it's kind of coming apart. There we go. It's so dirty and gross, it kind of seized itself together. So we got part of the PCB here, a little foam pad to help. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, let's see if I can yank these knobs off with my uh, lineman pliers. Mm. Nope. People actually use these oh, things are probably very unhappy with the mean things I'm doing to them. <laughs> No, it doesn't want to come off. The interesting thing about this knob, it has like a gasket and stuff. I don't know. It's like it's a press fit type of deal rather than uh, actually attaching to the switch. I think we're just going to bend the still brakes. There we go. Little front speaker there with the spring for some reason. What's that up again? I think it might be for grounding purposes because it would be touching this metal can here. Also, I think it's kind of cool. It has a little vibrator in it. Zoom out just a little bit. Yeah, it is supposed to be a pager after all, I guess. So I just didn't think uh, this is that kind of a pager. Let's see if we can get the motor out in the most inhumane way possible. There we go. Made your pan. Only the best. Fun little motor. Might actually save that for something. I actually have a bunch of pagers I saved a while back now for uh, the little pager motors. Don't know why, I just thought it'd be fun to have them. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. Interesting. So this must be the antenna. Just a little breakout board, some pens, and focus. There we go. 
Um, Motorola MC3374 FTB. So this must be the like transmitter receiver part of the things. I'm guessing this is all the control circuitry. Looks like this battery housing is soldered and I think it's plastic welded to the main PCB. Hmm. An interesting chip there. It's like a ceramic chip attached to a little riser board. Those surface mount pins so they could uh, convert it from BGA to regular surface mount. Although I don't know if they did much BGA stuff in electronics this old. But I think that's about all there is to see because the cans are soldered down and I don't feel like melting them off. But uh, yeah, hopefully that's interesting and thanks for watching.